Yes, people, it's Keisha and Prince. We're going to talk about can I play non league football and be doing six form studies at the same time? And the correct answer is yes. All right. Yes, you can do both. Yes, you can do non league and go six form at the same time. However, you need to be making sure you're doing extras because I'll be honest with you, as I've been saying before, non league ain't for everybody. All right. Non league ain't for anybody or casuals who just happen to be picking up football at the side and just they want to just be entertained in the, on a weekend. Non-league is a real business where people get money and there's money on the table. So coaches needing to get promotion and bonuses and a lot of clubs now have a lot of affiliations with other professional clubs as well where they can send down their players from the academy. It's not a joke business anymore. So if you're going to go into non-league, you need to make sure you're doing the extras, i.e. if you're playing on Saturday, and let's say, for example, you only get anything below 60 minutes. For me personally, you need to be joining in at least a Sunday league team. All right. I, I, I remember when I was playing with Tower Hamlets, if I was not getting no minutes, we was going, we were going Hackney Marshes on a Sunday, uh, getting a 90 minutes in the belt. Uh, I value pl doing 90 minutes at Sunday league playing against men than doing Kong work in the park. Because another thing as well, in this generation, we are too drilled out. OK, you don't have to be going to one to one coaches all the time and group sessions to do these passing drills. And I want to talk about development, but there's a talk about a balance between playing games and developing in games. All right. Um, at this point of the season right now, majority of your stuff that you're doing in this season, should, I mean, sorry, in the week should be match related situations. You should not be spending 30 minutes of your time doing ball mastery. If you are then that should be one of the sessions out of the three or four you should be doing per day. You understand me? So <clears throat> if you are doing 1,000 to 2,000 passes, which I always recommend for midfielders to do and players to make sure your touches are good, that should be one separate session for another session you're going to be doing in the in the week, uh, sorry, in the later in the day, all right, where you're going to be working on, all right, I don't know, receiving the ball uh, on your back foot as a centre midfielder and playing forward. That's a match-related situation that you're going to occur thousands of thousands of times in the season and so these are very important finding the team a local team on a Sunday league that that can recruit the amount of minutes and then also making sure that you're doing your midweek all right if your team's only train once or twice a week that's still not enough for me personally uh, but I know right now most teams are only training once a week because of the obviously their twice a week games so this is where you have to find a group session that's important um, that's going to be important for you to make sure you're getting the, the touches in. Monday, if you join the Monday League, Football League, uh, you know, at Power League or Gold, your friends, that would be very good. All right. Don't underestimate the importance of small sided games. That's most of the stuff that pros are doing in their training sessions, bar when they need to get ready for tactical stuff for their matches coming up in, in that weekend or midweek. All right. So I'm saying that to say this because there has to be a line between playing games and also development as well. I think right now at non-league level, we have a lot of players that are, a lot of teams, sorry, that are offering games for players, but they're not developing them. And I think it's hard to find that. For me personally, I'd rather go and play for a step seven team where the coaches are going to develop me in the training sessions. They're going to teach me all different stuff that is, that's going to be uh, beneficial to my development long run than to go to a step four team and I'm just playing the casual minutes. All right, I'd rather, and I'm not developing. All right, so I'm playing 20 minutes for the step four team and the manager's not doing any sort of development or anything like that because he's got his favourites, whatever. But then I'm going to a step seven team. The manager wants me to play first team and he's also developing. I will go down to a step seven, step six team tomorrow if that was offered to me. So always make sure between and those, this is also for those who are between the ages of 16 and 20 to 21 years old. You need to be prioritising development at those ages because guess what? Once you come out of that 20, even 18, 19, let's be realistic, but once you come out of those sort of under 21 sector, now you're considered, all right, that's what you've got to offer to the footballing world. So your IQ, your position and all that stuff should have really been heightened and really developed between those early ages, but you still have those few years to catch up on ground that you've been missing. Hence why I'm telling players, if you have a Saturday league team, join a Sunday league team as well. Um, I was also doing Market uh, Road, Midweek League and the Islington League on a Wednesday. So I was playing three times a week or had three teams. So if my Saturday League team 
uh, wasn't playing, uh, wasn't playing me, I'll join my Sanity team. And if I wasn't in the Tuesday or Thursday squad, I would then go to my Market Road team because I wanted to make sure that I was playing games. So you want to also make sure that you're developing games at the same time, but also a balance between playing games and developing by doing your ball sessions with your friends or going to a group session where you guys actually be developing certain technical parts and IQ stuff part of your game. This is very important, all right? So let me know what you think about this in the comment section.